Hello everyone, how are we all doing? I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to my channel and to another recipe video. I'm very excited about this one. It's gonna be three classic autumn dishes. You know I love my pasta, so we've got a really delicious pasta using a leftover pumpkin. We've got a gorgeous enchilada, veggie bean, chili, which I know I've made previously, but this is a lovely variant on it. And then we've got a delicious onion bhaji burger. So three really easy, simple dishes. And I'm very excited because I'm basically filming this video Kind of make a spare of a moment thing because these recipes are going to be filmed live and put on Taste Made's Pinterest channel. So if you don't know what Taste Made is, I'll link them down below. This video isn't sponsored by them, but they got in touch and said, Would I like to film some live videos in a kitchen with a camera crew? Who would have thought making these videos for so long and putting them on the internet that Taste Made would see them one day? It's just, it's all thanks to you guys for watching, showing your support. So by the time this video goes up, they should be live, so I'll link them down below. You can watch them over there, or you can watch them here, whatever you fancy. But yeah, all the ingredients will be linked down below. Relatively simple, straightforward recipe, so um, yeah, let's get into it. Also, before we get into the recipes, if you are new here and you just clicked on this video, it would mean the world if you could hit that subscribe button. It's completely free, it doesn't cost you a single thing. I've saved loads of previous videos I've filmed throughout the years on YouTube, so you can save all those as well. Write the recipes down, click the links, enjoy them. It's completely free, it just helps me out so much. There's nearly 40,000 of us as well, which is just crazy. Blows my mind anyway, I'll stop waffling. This is my butternut squash pasta and it is absolutely delicious. Minimal ingredients, you're going to need some pasta of your choice. I'm using a pumpkin, but if you haven't got any pumpkins left over, a butternut squash will work just as well. We've got some cream cheese I'm using Philadelphia, a garlic clove, a nice creamy blue cheese, some parmesan, and then for flavourings we've got some thyme, some olive oil, and some chilli flakes, and that's it. If you've got fresh thyme, you can of course use that. And that's everything. So start by chopping up your pumpkin or a butternut squash and then remove the seeds. If it's a bit tricky, just bear with it, but please do be careful. You can keep the seeds as well and roast them later on. They make a delicious snack. I popped them on a baking tray, drizzled it with some lovely olive oil, seasoned it with salt and pepper, and then put that into an oven to roast for about half an hour. Will depend on the size of your pumpkin. If you cut your button up squash up smaller, it will take less time. Chop up two garlic cloves and then pop a pan of water onto the heat. Season it generously and cook your pasta of choice. Like I say, I'm using rigatoni just because I absolutely love it. Pasta should take about eight minutes to cook. Get a cup of pasta water out of there and drain the rest. Then in the same pan, add some olive oil, your chopped garlic, and fry that very lightly. You don't want it to burn. Add your crushed chili. You can go as heavy or as light as you like. I like it quite spicy and some thyme. And then just bring all that together. It should be lovely and golden. And that time your butternut squash or pumpkin should be roasted. If it isn't, cover it in tin foil and just allow it to steam for the last five minutes. That will help it definitely. Then you want to chop up your pumpkin or butternut squash using a sharp knife and scoop out all of the innards and you can pop that into a bowl. You need around half a pumpkin or half a butternut squash depending. Add that into your garlic and chili and stir all that together using the back of the spoon to squish up the squash. Add your Philadelphia if you've got creme fraiche that would be amazing. Ricotta would work equally as well and add around half a cup of pasta water to form your sauce. It won't look like it's coming together but stick with it. Keep on stirring and mashing and it will be beautiful. Then add in your blue cheese. If you aren't a fan of blue cheese, it doesn't have a strong overwhelming taste. It's more so just the lovely flavour and saltiness of it. Then add in your cooked pasta and stir all of that together with the remaining pasta water until you've got a beautiful creamy butternut squash or pumpkin sauce. And that is it. Just give it a season. See if it needs any salt or pepper. I love my food to have a lovely peppery kick. So I just added some fresh black pepper and a tiny, tiny pinch of salt because we're going to finish it with Parmesan, which is naturally quite salty. And that was it. It's just a case of plating it up. This will serve two people very generously. But of course, it's completely dependent on your portion sizes and how much you like. I love a great big bowl of pasta, but yeah, finish it off with some Parmesan. And that's it. It is such a speedy easy dish to make really quite budget friendly too so um yeah let me know if you make it it was absolutely delicious these are my mixed bean spicy enchiladas these are all the ingredients you're going to need some tortilla wraps and some passata three peppers of your choice some mozzarella or any kind of cheese that you like a can of mixed taco beans kidney beans and chickpeas if you'd like. I didn't end up using these, but you can add your chickpeas if you would prefer. Got some Cajun spice and cumin paprika, an avocado, chili pepper, garlic, onion, and lime, and some fresh 
coriander. All the ingredients will be down below, of course. So start by chopping up your red onion and then chop up your red chili pepper. Just down the middle, use a spoon to scrape out the seeds, cut it into strips and then dice that up fairly finely. It doesn't have to be too fine, don't worry. And then use the back of your knife to cut up two garlic cloves and just clunk those together with a knife too, so it's all roughly chopped. Pop that into a pan with some olive oil and you want to fry this over a medium to low heat. You don't want it to be too crazy in there because the garlic will burn but just enough to soften your onions. So while they're softening, chop up your peppers of choice. I used a yellow, green, and red bell pepper, and then I added some spices to the onion mix. So I added some cumin, some lovely paprika, and the Cajun spice mix. Again, if you want to add some cayenne, that would be lovely. And then add in your mixed peppers with around two teaspoons of chipotle, if you don't have chipotle, don't worry. And then I added the mixed kidney beans with the tomato sauce and the taco beans as well. Like I say, if you want to add chickpeas, you can, but I felt like this was enough. I seasoned it with some salt and then reduced the sauce down until it's lovely thick and the peppers are just so softened. And then I grabbed an oven dish and popped the tortilla wraps in there. If you are gluten-free, you can use gluten-free tortilla wraps absolutely fine. Pop the filling in there, don't overfill them, but just tuck them in nicely and just fold them all together perfectly so. And then it's just a case of repeating that until you've used all of your tortilla wraps. I think I managed six in total. If there's any remaining sauce in your pan, add your passata and just warm that through with all of the lovely spices and then top your wraps with the lovely passata sauce. This just makes it gorgeous and oozy and then crumble over your mozzarella. Again, if you're not keen on mozzarella, you can use whatever cheese that you like. A nice spicy cheddar would be good for this actually. Pop that into a preheated oven, 190 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes until it's beautifully melted. And then I made a really speedy salsa while that was baking. It's like a piccolo, piccolo, piccolo de gallo, basically like a chunky avocado tomato salsa. So use cherry tomatoes, avocado, coriander, chopped all that up and then just stirred all that together with some salt and a bit of lime juice and a splash of olive oil just to make it into a lovely salsa. And you don't have to do this, it's just a really nice side to have with it. And again, you can mash the avocado more if you'd like, but look how good they look. They were so delicious. I just brought them out of the oven, finished them with some fresh coriander and served them up. One enchilada is plenty with some salsa and some salad, but you, of course you can serve this for as many or as little as you like. Great for leftovers too for lunch the next day. So this is my onion bhaji burger, one of my favorite things to create. Ingredients, you're gonna need some flour, brioche buns, coriander, one chili pepper, some onions, lettuce, cucumber, half a roasted butternut squash from earlier, some curry paste, some chili jam, natural yogurt, and poppadoms. So it does look like quite a lot, but I will leave all of the ingredients down below. Oh, also some garlic. So, start by chopping up two white onions fairly thinly and add them into a large bowl. Then add in your roasted butternut squash from earlier. If you haven't got time to roast it, you can boil it, it will work perfectly fine. Add around two teaspoons of curry paste to your mix and then chop up your garlic cloves and pop those in too. Do the same with your green chili like I did from earlier. Just remove the seeds and then chop that up fairly finely. You don't want any big chunks of chili because that might get a bit spicy. So add that into your mix and stir all it together with a spoon. You can use your hands if you'd like, but we're going to keep them fairly clean so far. And then add in your flour and water. And this makes like a paste. It brings everything together. It's like a binding ingredient. So spoon all that together until everything is beautifully combined and you've got the base for your onion bhajis. Pop a pan on a heat, add a glug of olive oil and bring your pan up to around a medium heat. Then using your hands now, form four fairly large patties, not too thick, but pop them into the pan. You might find that they not, won't come together, so just give them a little bit of a squeeze and they will. And then flip them over after they've had about four minutes to cook. They should be lovely and crispy. You can use a spatula to pat them down but ideally you want them to be as thin as possible, but also to be crispy all around the edges and that will make the most delicious onion bhajis. Then make a simple raita with natural yogurt. Um, if you are not a fan of dairy, you can use a vegan yogurt. Grate in some cucumber. You can squeeze the water out if you'd like. I never bother and it's absolutely fine. Then I grab some coriander and some mint and just chop that up and stir that through the natural yogurt and then give it a little bit of a season, just not very much, just to bring all of the ingredients to life. 
And then that is your simple raida. It's a really, really easy dish and it's just a lovely sauce. You can of course buy this, but it's nice and easy to make. Chop up some iceberg lettuce and then grab your British buns. I just toasted these in the toaster and then assembled everything. So I went for the raita and then I went in with the iceberg lettuce. I also used some poppadoms that give this burger a lovely crunch and some chili jam. If you're not keen on chili jam, you can use mango chutney. Pop that on top of your burger lid, spread that about, top it with your crispy poppadom, and then by that time your onion bodies should be nice and golden and crunchy and delicious. So you can just pop them straight into your burger and then bang your lid on. And that's it. You can serve this with fries, spicy potatoes, or just have it as it is, but it is absolutely delicious. So that is everything guys, I really hope you've enjoyed these three cozy comfort food dishes. They're really easy to make, all of the ingredients will be down below. Thank you so much for watching, lots of love, take care and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.